medical researchers use Vancouver referencing style for their research. But the default format for Vancouver referencing style in popular reference management software like EndNote is not the way most journals recommend. In this quick video, I am going to show you how to easily format your Vancouver citations and references in EndNote. Hi and welcome to Public Health Resources channel where I provide health and productivity tips for students, residents, teachers and researchers to help them easily achieve success in their professional endeavors. In my last video and you can find the link um, here if you haven't watched it, I showed you how to use EndNote for referencing and I used the Vancouver referencing style of references all right, which is the referencing style that is approved by the International Committee of Medical Journal Editors for referencing medical and health science related research. I received a lot of positive feedback from my audience, um, which is a good indication that people are trying things out. Thank you. All right. And many people also wanted to know how I was able to put Vancouver in-text citation as superscript like this. All right. Because most journals and schools like it in this superscript um, format. Now, if you use Vancouver that comes with um, EndNote by default, it comes in like this. Okay. On the same level as the text and in brackets. Though this format is also acceptable but it's not very popular and I know most people are used to the one that <laughs> comes with um, superscript with no brackets right well the good news is that EndNote allows you to format your references in any way you deem fit any way you want it in fact you can even make your own referencing style hmm that sounds good my own referencing style right I'll just call it Olo Koba reference <laughs> all right I'm just kidding I know some great universities in Nigeria are so advanced that they even have their own referencing style like the great University of Ibadan it has its own specialized referencing style for students at least I'm sure that of postgraduate students all right so how do we do this all you need to do is to use the style manager okay it's quite easy let me show you in the menu tab of EndNote all right go to tools all right then you click on output styles over there very good and then open the style manager you will see this beautiful dialog box that comes up and all we want to do is to just edit an already existing referencing style which is Vancouver right so we we'll just look for Vancouver on this list and we we'll select it okay and then we'll click on edit this will take us to another dialog box that has all the settings and formatting for Vancouver now on the left hand side of this uh, panel is the style pane. you can see it over there uh, you can see it has three main sections the citation section which is where you put in the text the bibliography which is where you have references at the end of your writing and then footnotes all right um, now we are here for just the citation okay so we'll just click on that citation template now 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 listen very carefully look at where it says citation and see the default format okay you can see that it has brackets and bibliography number and they are all on the same level as the text so first things first let's get rid of the brackets okay now please don't delete anything or change anything on this writing okay then what we will now do is highlight the bibliography number and let's make it superscript how do we do this if you see the toolbar up there you see where it says a1 superscript all right that's the symbol for superscript we click it and we're set Okay, the last thing we'll need to do now is just to save. So just attempt to close this and it will give you a prompt to save. All right, and then let's click on yes and put any name you want. For me, I'll just call it Vancouver Super, all right, because it's super for me. And then you click save. That's easy, easy peasy, right? Okay, so um, let's try it out and see if, if it works. Let's put in this reference from a great scholar we call him stainless and I'm sure if he's watching he knows himself and let's see there you have it okie dokie at the chokey so you have your in-text citation formatted to superscript and the brackets are off just the way we like it all right this is how super easy it is to format any reference in EndNote to suit your requirements and you can play around with it and see now if you have gained value in this video don't forget to like share and subscribe for more amazing content like this in my next video, God willing, I am going to show you several awesome ways to save references automatically into EndNote from PubMed and Google Scholar. But until then, peace.